What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hello, folks. This is Mr. Warmack. Well, you expect it to be. Who else do you expect it to be? Uh, I'm back to give you a video. Happy July 4th, everybody. And you know what this video is about if I'm saying happy July 4th. Today's going to be the 75th annual You Hate America, but you're still here. Now, all these hoes step, uh, black conscious, lib black liberators, uh, nationalists, uh, and all the other, even now the, 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 the wannabes on Facebook, they're all talking about this now. They're like, why are we wishing, uh, black people, why are black people wishing, uh, everybody, uh, happy July 4th. No one you're an American fuck, fuck stick. Okay, now. That's first of all. Second of all, none of these people saying anything right now about don't wish, happy, don't wish, you know, America July 4th because of slavery to set in the 5th. None of these people wished you a happy Juneteenth, did they? Ju June 19th? No, they didn't. Now they want to come on Facebook and, uh, Act like you know. All of a sudden, they're they're like they're these righteous rebels when they they didn't say nothing on Juneteenth, which was a celebration of slavery, ending. They didn't say anything about that. They want to. They, this is people. These people kill me. They want to. What gets me is they want to run down America, which is your right to do. That's your business. If that's what you want to do, hey, like I said, live life. But my point is, why are you still here? Now, I'm going to get the occasional crybabies and you lazy fucks. You guys are saying, well, it takes your money to leave. It gets really expensive. Well, let me put it to you this way. If you saved your money, if you're, if you're in your 40s and 30s, I laugh at you. I don't, I don't really pay you any mind. If you're in your 20s, you can save some money, but I doubt it because most of y'all are getting Section 8 and welfare. We're living with somebody who's getting Section 8 welfare, and y'all be taking, you're going to get taken care of by Trump anyway, so you guys will be on non-factors. But let me talk to these 30, 30 and 40-year-olds who are still living in America, talking about screw America, fuck America, etc. at all. Now, you don't like America, but I keep reminding you video after video after video after video after video after video on July 4th that Mugabe... Didn't he offer land to you guys? Ghana is still. Still. There's an offer on the table for any African American. Or any, anybody in North America or South America for that, for that matter. Who wants to move back to the quote unquote motherland. You got a place there for free. You got land for free. All you got to do is build. And it's, if you saved your money, you'd be cool. A lot of you don't want. A lot of you don't want. A lot of you just putting on a show. To make you look like you're like like all this nationalistic bullshit, but you ain't doing nothing. You just you just something to show on. Cause like I said, it ain't that it ain't that hard to move to Africa. It don't cost that much. I mean, most of you most of you quote unquote have businesses. At least that's what you say on your Facebook profiles, or maybe you don't. Maybe you maybe you're pump faking. Well, I know you're pump faking, but I'm just saying. I'm trying to give you guys. A, I'm trying to give you guys some. I can't find a way to give you guys a little bit of credit. Then you got these conscious people. They want you know. They're talking about how we're from there. This is at the third. This is in our land. Well, this is our land also. This is in the fifth. That's they say that whenever you check them on it. They say, well, America's our land too. Africans founded this land too. Well, if we founded this land, why can't we make it in this land? You fucking idiots. Why are all these test scores so fucked up? Why are, why are the ghettos fucked up? The hood fucked up? Hey, black middle class and up. Hey, they're doing something right. The fact of the matter is, it did, it depends on your your condition. If you decide to stay in that condition, that's your fault. I feel no sympathy. There are some people who love generational welfare and generational poverty. Some of you love it. I just, I mean, you do. You love it. So what am I supposed to do for for that? And then whenever you stay in that, and you love it. Oh, it's somebody else's fault. Or some of you can get jobs left and right and you always get fired, find a way to get fired. Or some of you want people to feel sorry for you, but if you look at it, 
Nine times out of ten, let me tell you something about these folks that are complaining. And, and, and this is accurate. Nine times out of ten. That's 90% for everybody else who, you know, know has common sense. 90% of these weasels, they fucked your life up. They did something wrong where they messed your life up. That, like, now they, they try something. Look, there's a lot of people I know that went to prison and became successful. But at the end of the day, they fought for that and they worked hard for that. The problem is a lot of these people just don't want to work hard. They want to sit back and, well, like, it's, look, like, again, look at the welfare and Section 8 reference. A lot of people want to sit back and fat cat. Then when they don't have no money, how how you get money for your weave if you're on Section 8 and, and welfare? You should kiss America's ass because when you go to Africa, you know that ain't going to happen. That's like, that's like people, like, I got an argument the other day. Dude told me he don't like the, um, con of the, uh, cultures of uh, most Middle Eastern countries in, uh, in Russia. Well, you know why you don't like Russia's culture? Russia doesn't kiss minorities' ass. In Russia, you have to adapt to their way of life. They tell you straight up, we don't need minorities. Minorities need Russia. They say, this is straight up. Because he said he was over there and this, that, and the fifth. And I said, look, man, I dealt with Russians. I have no problem with them. And, like, if America, America needs to be more like that. America, you should say, hey, look, you're in America. You got to be, you got to deal with us as an Americans. If you want to come to our country, you, you, you abide by our laws. Maybe we had, we, we had two more people that had nuts, and politicians that had balls between their legs and done something about it. Maybe we wouldn't be going through the problems we're having. But that's another video for another day. Today I'm talking about all you Af Pan African, not Pan Africans. I'm, I want to talk about these nat <coughs> excuse me, nationalists, uh, these libert li liberators, the ho steppers, the mop believers, the oh, and, the, and, the, and these goofballs. We're all kings and queens. No, we're not, because a lot of y'all just a lot of y'all are just peasants sitting on the throne. Get off the throne. The kings and queens are about to take over. All you people are crying about America, yet you do nothing about your condition. You want to whine. Then you want to say, oh, oh well, well, we, we don't have a chance. Of course you don't have a chance. If you, if you don't get in the game, you don't have a chance and you lose. So what do you expect? But you, just, you want handouts. That's all you want. You, want you, you hate the white man, but you want the white man's handouts. Because look at you. All you can do is look in the mirror. If you sit at home and you pumping out kids and you get a handout, you get a check, you need to shut the fuck up. If you're one of these dudes with no job laying up under these chicks, you need to shut the fuck up. If you're one of these people that constantly continually fuck up your life, you need to shut the fuck up. Cause look, look, look at most of them. Then, then, like I said, I heard this one guy. What do you say? Let's not move to Africa because we don't know where we are from Africa. But let's move to Liberia. I'm like, has this fucking dummy ever read a globe before? Does he know Liberia is in Africa? And then I, I, I don't say anything anymore because it's like some of y'all are just trying to prove the the going the going uh, thoughts about how black people are. The, the, the just depictions of us. A lot of you are just like seem like you're dumbed down so far, and y'all ain't even dumbing down. Y'all just are like that. You want to call you want to call these fucking nasty hoes who twerk on Facebook videos queens, and you want to call these 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 these, these feminized boys showing guns on Facebook. You want to call them kings? No, these are peasants. Cause my queen doesn't act like that, and my kings don't act like that. You are what you are at the end of the day. And a lot of you are just peasants. So, if you're still here next year, prove me wrong. Because you haven't done it in the last 75 years. If you do it next year, I ain't going to lie, I'll be surprised and shocked. But I figure you'll be sitting at home, which it, it, you'll, be in, in one of, you'll be in one of three places doing your videos. At your mom's house. At your grandma's house. We're at the shelter. I'm out of here. Bye.